When data are added to your map project in any GIS, there's a default drawing order in that they will be added to your map. Polygons are always drawn at the bottom, then polylines are drawn over those and points over those. This refers to vectors specifically. Standalone tables are of course not drawn because you can't see them spatially, but they will be stored in your table of content at the very bottom. To illustrate this, I will add some data sets to the view. So once I want to add my data, for example, I want to add boreholes and geology, I would like to add data on land use, and perhaps I want to add data on roads. You'll see that the points are drawn first, they overlie the polylines, and these overlie the polygons of land use and geology. So this is the drawing order, the default drawing order when you add data to your map project. Raster, once added to your screen or to your map project, will draw below the vectors. And if you add tables that aren't shown spatially, these will be drawn right at the bottom. You won't see them in your view, of course, because this does not represent spatial data, but you can see the file right at the very bottom in your table of content. You can, of course, change the parameters of these layers or the links to the layers. You can change the name very easily. You can change the symbols as well to make this more intuitive for your map anything like that. What you can also do is group layers, for example, land use and geology are environmental parameters, so you select both, you right-click them and say group, and then you can change this by giving them a specific name. If you now unclick the group, all of these will be deselected.